find a native specimen if you possibly can oaks maples beech all do extremely well uh, birch if you have low-lying areas there's nothing wrong with planting a willow as long as you select the right tree in the right place if you have a low-lying wet spot that is not your septic system willows are more than acceptable the greater the diversity of trees we put in the greater diversity in the ecosystem mm -hmm. that we can maintain the birds and insects that evolved here did so with our native trees and shrubs if you can't do any different sure plant and introduce species try and avoid the norway maple they <laughs> always get sun scald when you're planting make sure there's enough room for the root system and there's a product on the market that is mycorrhizal bacteria it's a fungus that grows in conjunction with the root system the results have been stupendous it was isolated mm -hmm. at mcdonald college um, and has been marketed out from there. It's been commercialized. It sells under the name Mike, M-Y-K-E. I do not sell any products, but this stuff works. Mm -hmm. If you dust the roots of the tree, when you plant it, the success rate more than doubles and the drought hardiness is remarkable. Now, there are a number of towns and cities who have discovered this. I know that Dieppe mm -hmm. in New Brunswick will not plant a caliper tree without dusting with Mike now water well for the first five years you can have a tree that looks like it's 25 years old in five years if it gets watered regularly in the first five years and gets well established